Richie, uh, Joni. <laughs> hey, everybody. Peter Diamond here. Peter Diamond here. That's what I said. I'm they couldn't see your figure? Yes, they can. Look, you see my hand right there? You see it? You, see you it? just want to poke me to rub boobs. <laughs> I could have been Mr. KD here. House. And I don't know what day this is. I think it's, uh, no, it went two days. A long time. Day 89 of our keto fitness journey. Uh, last y'all saw me, I was supposed to went and got my teeth pulled. And, uh, as you probably can tell, no, I didn't get them pulled. I'll get into that in a little bit. But first, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Bing. Do all that good YouTube jazz to help me make this channel grow. It's time now. Let's rant, grave, and misbehave. Mr. KD style. <laughs> So like I said, last night y'all saw me, I did a blog, I talked about going to get my teeth pulled and some other stuff. Uh, that didn't happen, and the reason I haven't did a blog in a couple of days is because that didn't happen. And been a little bit depressed, a little bit upset, a little bit pissed off, and a lot of pain. Uh, so I get there, and after going through the rigorous treatment just to find out that I don't have uh, COVID-19, I sit in a dentist chair for two hours. Well, about an hour and a half, actually. Hour and a half. And then the dentist finally comes in there. He looks at my x-ray. And why they took an x-ray, I don't know. I just had an x-ray taken at the other place like a week, week before. before. And they referred me to this place, so they should already have the x-ray. Plus, my insurance only pays for one x-ray a year, so obviously i got to pay for that. Uh, but they took another x-ray. So the dentist comes in, he looks at the x-ray, and he says, yeah, she says, so you want all your bottom teeth removed? Yes. And he says, you need to be, you gonna be sedated? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm immune to the anesthesia. It doesn't affect me. He says, yeah, well, then you definitely need to be sedated. You come prepared, uh, you ate nothing in the last six hours, or anything. Mom ain't ate nothing since last night, ain't drunk nothing since this morning. No. Oh, okay, he said, well, uh, Send one of my nurses in here and they're going to get you straight and then we'll get you started. So I sit in there. Mind you, this room was cold. It's so cold I was balling up in my shirt. Uh, but 30 minutes later, the nurse comes in there. She says, well, hands me the bill. $4,300. My insurance is going to pay $1,200 of it. She says, oh, we need $3,000 from you, sir. Uh, does it look like I got $3,000 on me, ma'am? I said, what the hell? My insurance should have paid more than that. I'm like, dang. But, so obviously I didn't have the money, so I told him to get it. Uh, just for them to pull one, I think she said it would have been like $500. Plus, the insurance wouldn't cover the uh, sedation because it's just one tooth. The only reason they were going to cover it now is because it was all of them. It is what it is. Obviously, I ain't got the $3,000. I'm in a lot of pain. Now, my wife's been talking about it on her channel, and a lot of y'all have sent a lot of, lot of suggestions. Some of them won't work right now because of the COVID-19 outbreak, because of, like going to a college or something like that. Plus, I don't think that would have worked anyway because I have to be sedated. Otherwise, I'm going to feel every tooth be pulled. Uh, I can handle one. I mean, usually, if it's just one, I, I, I deal with the uh, limbs, uh, use the anesthesia. I still feel it, but it's not terrible. I mean, it is terrible, but it's not. It's hard to explain. It would be way too much with nine teeth to be pulled and stay awake for it. I'm feeling every one of them. Uh, and I don't think the colleges actually do that, I, the, the sedation. Not for students, anyway, I, I wouldn't imagine. Well, they have to learn somewhere. Yeah. But we can find out when they open, but that's... Who you know. knows what that's going to be. 
I mean, am I supposed to sit here in pain for the next two months before this COVID dies down? Before I can even see if I can do that. I don't know, but it seems like it's, it's a, it seems like dental things are for the rich. And it doesn't, and I don't even mean that the college around us even does that. I don't know. So. I mean, I've never, I didn't even know there was one. We only got one college around near us, and that's Catawba. No, I mean, you got. Well, they mean a dental college. I don't think that's the same thing. Well, yeah, I mean, they have a. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they have a dental, dental college there. That's the only college oh, I know I of. don't know. We'll, we'll have to look that up. But it's, that's a little ways down the road anyway. we got to wait for the schools to open back up yeah, first. Yeah, because all the schools are shut down. Uh, so, and a lot of y'all suggested to do a My Fund Me page, and, which I probably will do that. But the problem with My Fund Me is they take a good portion of it, or some of it. They take, uh, I can't remember what it was. It, Seems like it's a good little bit though. And plus, as soon as it's like, like this, 20 or 50 bucks, and after it's been in there for a few days, they deposit it straight to your account. That's not a problem. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't spend it, but at the same time, if it's in the account and accessible, it might get spent. And I really don't want that neither, because I really, really, really want these teeth out. They need to come out. They're causing me a lot of pain. I need to explain why they're causing me a lot of pain. On this side right here, I got two abscesses on one tooth, and on this side right here, I got one abscess. Not to mention, the abscess can cause a man to, a person to go into a coma. So they need they need to come out. You would think that would be considered a medical emergency. You considering. Would, yeah, you would think. But, again, I don't have $3,000. I ain't got no means of getting $3,000. I, I am going to apply for a loan, but I do not think I can get what I need. What I need is $5,000. In total, yeah. My insurance is going to pay 1200 and that's for the whole year. That's all I have that they will pay on dental work for the whole year, $1,200. So that means even if I get the $3,000 for getting removed, I, my insurance ain't gonna pay for the dentures at all. So I, I, I gotta have money for the dentures. I would like for all this to get done though. Cause I mean- We plan to use the stimulus- pain is ridiculous. We plan to use the stimulus check, but honestly, I think that would probably go more towards getting my dentures because we don't even know when we're going to get that. That could be next month or the month after before we get that. We just don't no, know. No, no. There, there's been no... Well, you also don't know, like, what's going to be going on then. Will yeah. we need that for food? Well, I mean, we might. But we, I mean, you know, North Carolina's on lockdown now. It's yes, I can no, still... No. I, my, my job is considered essential, so I will get to work. But, but how many garage doors are really going to be needed right now? But with everything being on lockdown, I expect my numbers to drop, and I expect it to be part time. It hasn't. That. They haven't said that. They haven't said that. That's just what I'm expecting. Uh, I've already seen my numbers drop from 625 a day to 550 a day. So, and that's just this first week. Uh, I expect it to drop more. I, I've seen it drop as low as when. 300 a day and working Monday, Tuesday, and half a day Wednesday. Mind you, I work Monday through Thursday 10 hour shifts, so that's getting to 25 hours a week. <clears throat> I just, I, I want you to be out of pain. Being in pain sucks, especially dental pain and back pain both together. This man is driving me crazy because he hurts all the time. I haven't been missing a little. I've been sitting you did in yesterday a little bit. I, I mostly sit in my room and cry. Well, yeah, but it's been over time. I'm not talking about the chest. Yeah, well, like, like I want you to feel more confident, feel better, not hurt. Like, I want you to feel good. Right now, most of the day, my tooth ain't bothering me. But there's little things I can do to get the pain to go away for a little while. But I can feel it already starting to hurt again. My Tremadol don't work. My Gabapentin don't work. Uh, the only thing that really works is holding my finger on it until it stops hurting. I've seen him lay awake all night long for like 12 hours like this. And I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the pressure, if I'm covering up the nerve, if it's exposed or what. But I put my finger on it and it'll stop hurting for a little while. Uh, a leave seems to help. You can't take I mean, not a leave, but a BC powder seems to help if I can pour it straight onto the tooth. But that's got ibuprofen in it, and my medication I'm on, I can't take ibuprofen. I don't know if it's ibuprofen or if it's just an NSAID, which is a little bit different. One's an aspirin, one's. Still can't, I, don't think I can't have, have yeah, I, can't, right I can't have an aspirin neither. No, I'm not with the medication drum. But, so, so it's catch 22. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So what I'm going to do, and trust me, this kills me to even do this. I, I don't want to do it, but it's the only option I see available. I'm going to start a PayPal account. I'm going to put it in my 
description and in, if y'all want to help, if y'all can help, I would greatly appreciate it. I have never asked for donations before in none of my videos and I wouldn't now except for they need to come out and I, I, I don't know what to do about it. The, my insurance ain't going to cover, cover it and that's the only insurance I have available to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't. I, you know, I, I guess I could look into outsourced resources, but, uh, insurance, but could I even afford that? Some of, one guy did tell me about one that kicks in immediately, and you can cancel it when you're done with it. So we might need to look at that too. I did save a couple of links that people sent us. Either way, even with a second insurance, I don't see it dropping down to a, to a reasonable amount that I could pay. The reasonable amount that I could pay would be around $500. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I, I mean, honestly, we live paycheck to paycheck. It's just, I'm the only one that brings in income home, and it's just the way, it's, the way it is. And we get by and we do fine, but we expect our insurance to be a little bit more better than what it is. Considering how much we pay. Our health insurance is good. We walk in the door with our health insurance and everything's pretty much covered right on the spot. You know, we get a bill for like 100 bucks, maybe 200 bucks. But... Unless we have MRI house or something done, yeah. that's a hell of a bill. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that's like $1,500 just to get that done. MRI coming up, too. Uh, but any help that y'all could give, if you want to give, if you can give, I don't expect y'all to, but if you can, it would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, I will add the link to my PayPal in the description. Or if I don't put mine, I'll put my wife's. You can just add it to hers. We ain't deciding which one we're going to do. It don't matter, really, it don't, but I just... There are certain small bills that come out of mine. I just don't want nothing coming out of your money. That's all. Yeah, that's fine. You got money going in there anyway. Uh, it's very depressing. Okay. Everything, I think, with the biggest problem, I mean, that's depressing on its own, but then all the other stuff combined and sitting on top of it with the virus being unsure about work, unsure about money, your back hurting. There's so, so much. And I talked to Dr. Nick the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen his videos, it's Total Health with Dr. Nick about his back. Once we get the two things cleared up, he did say that he do he believed that he could benefit greatly from a chiropractor. And if we get this taken care of, I'd like to look into that. You know, that's the and if. we got so much on the table right now. I, I know, got, but I want you to be healthy. This right here, up. obviously, is priority number one. But my car needs infection. It needs tags. We'll do that We're on a 5 o'clock lockdown start Monday. Uh, I wonder if you can even do all that right now. The inspections and the Yeah, because of gas and service stations. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with, like, city services. They might just put that on home for a few months. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have either. to look into it. I'm okay. sure you still need to get it done. But why is these businesses staying open if you can't go to them? Well, yeah, but I don't know if those businesses are open. The same place is open. I don't know if they are or not. Yeah, city, they are. City places are supposed to be closed. They're not. I'm not. All right. We'll argue about it later. Brian just went and got his tags. Okay. Hard -headed. I'm not neither. Okay, it just stands to reason that they would close Brian that. Brian went and got his tags Wednesday. Well, goody for him, but we might not be able to by Monday. The list said all of that was staying open. Okay, just do your video. We're not arguing all the time. I do not. I, there, there's a list. I read the list to her yesterday. Everything that was staying open. That I didn't hear tag place. Yes, I said government officials were staying open. Okay, just, just do that. He just wants to argue with me. Anyway, uh, remember, take 15 minutes out of the day to spend it on yourself, doing something that you like. Uh, then, watch a movie, whatever. Whatever uh, makes you smile. Also, say, check the description. Both our emails and uh, my Facebook is in there. Uh, KetoDiamond.com, where you can find a complete food list that's keto friendly and uh, beginner guide, complete beginner guide. Oh, and while I'm thinking of that, the reason you didn't see no food on this video of what I ate yesterday, because I don't want to trigger nobody. We bought some stuff for me from when I had my teeth pulled that was going to be easy to eat and it wasn't all keto friendly. Matter of fact, none of it was. Plus, I'd already been kicked from the cortisone level was being so high with my pain back and forth with the strawberries. I, th I think I've been kicked probably about three or four days, to be honest with you. I plan to go back into ketosis when I finish off the pie ball. 
I ain't wasting that pie. That's my favorite pie. And if you're wondering, it's lemon meringue. I don't recommend this for anybody else, but. What? I just have well, to say Obviously, they know that to do that. I'm just saying. I'm not on a weight loss journey and I was getting my teeth pulled. Now I bought that pie and I'm not going to let it go to waste. It's my favorite. I'm a healthy 42 uh, year old man. Why can't I have some pie? Yes, I know that's going to make my back hurt worse because I'm not in ketosis. So don't even say it. Yes, I know it. I, actually, I won't either. Cause he knows it, I bitch about everything. Because uh, keto doesn't help my back one way or another. It doesn't hurt more or less when I'm in or out of ketosis. But, like right now, my back's fine. A little twitch, and that's about it. Let me bend over, though, now change. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all tomorrow.